Wall Street, Main Street, and Washington are all waiting for tomorrow's big economic data, the release of the second quarter GDP. Now, ahead of it, Inside Track is asking CEOs to weigh in on the economy. Charles Wick Mormon, Chairman and President, CEO of Norfolk Southern, is joining us now. Wick, always glad to have you with us. How closely do you monitor GDP as the CEO of a railroad company? Well, we certainly look at it uh, because our business is very closely tied to the overall economy, although uh, we have differences in our business with uh, economic conditions. So it's something we look at, but not the only driver of our business. Well, you do have insight into where goods and uh, services, particularly goods, are going. If you had to say which element of the economy is weaker right now, would you say that it's the consumer element or would you say that it's industry? I think we would still say that uh, it's the consumer. Uh, we see that primarily through the containers that uh, we bring uh, across the country that are imported through the ports. And that business, while it's recovered from last year, is not as strong as some of the other business where we're handling uh, manufactured goods, steel, and basic commodities in the country. But putting those two elements together, that is to say consumer and industry, I know you said earlier this month that you personally don't think that we're going to see a double dip recession. Is that still the case? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we continue to see what uh, we believe to be uh, a slow growth economy, but still a growth economy. So a slow growth economy. I mean, Wick, you've been in the railroad business for at least three decades. How does this slow down and then subsequent recovery compared to other times past? Uh, well, it's certainly like nothing we've ever seen before. The slowdown we saw in 2009 uh, was unprecedented in our business, uh, but we've seen a substantial recovery. We, but we've seen uh, more variability in our business in the past two years than we've seen certainly in my career. So uh, would you say that the pace of this recovery is slower than any other rebound from a, from a previous recession? Well, I think that we saw uh, a fairly sharp uh, snapback um, as 2009 went on and early in 2010. That seems to now have slowed. Uh, I think that we're just going to continue to see, as I said before, uh, a slow growth economy really for some time to come. Now, Wick, you have almost 30,000 employees. I mean, do you have a hiring freeze on right now? Uh, oh, no. We are uh, actively hiring, uh, but the hiring is uh, almost exclusively to uh, take uh, uh, into account attrition. Uh, there is some slight of hiring we have now for the volume growth that we've seen over the last year, but it's mostly attrition-based. And they are permanent positions? Oh, absolutely. Now, what is your biggest cost of doing business? Well, our biggest overall cost of business is uh, our workforce, is people, which all in accounts for about 40% of our overall costs. And have you been able to control employee costs, uh, meaning even salary freezes when you need to do it? Uh, we have to uh, some extent. Uh, we have the about 80 some percent of our uh, workforce is organized uh, labor uh, and we have contracts with them and then contract wage increases which have gone into effect. We have controlled uh, our non-contract workforce spend substantially and we're down about uh, 2,000 in headcount from where we were say two and a half, three years ago. All right, Wick, we thank you so much for your time as always. Wick Thanks, Mormon dude. joining us there. He is the CEO of Norfolk Southern.